Welcome back, my YouTube friends and family. This is Lindsay, and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. In today's video, I have five different job leads that are all in the healthcare field and are all non-phone based. We've got data entry. We've got things like indexing and sorting through documents. We've got other things. We have a mixed bag of different types of healthcare positions that are not customer service based where you're on the phone all day taking phone calls. Now I say these are non-phone because the majority of your job, 90 to 95% of it is going to be non-phone based, but there are going to be occasions where you might have to pick up the phone and make an outbound phone call to a coworker or a doctor, somebody you work with to get additional information if you're missing information or even a call in insurance companies if you need additional information that you can't get online through their provider portals. But let me know down in the comments what you consider non-phone. Is it completely never on the phone ever, ever, ever? Or you don't mind making a few outbound phone calls from time to time? Of course, links, timestamps. If you need to get to any of the pages that I share or any additional information, it's always in the YouTube description box below this video. I always just ask that if you enjoy anything that I share, give this video a thumbs up like button and let me know. But without wasting any more time, first up we have the company Broadpath Healthcare Solutions. Now Broadpath has 941 reviews from past and current employees. They have an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.1 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a provider enrollment analyst specifically for their Part B Medicare. This is work remotely from home. It's for the United States only. All the jobs that I'm sharing are for the United States only. But Broadpath is looking for somebody to research incoming applications and correspondence to make sure that the work is properly categorized. You're then going to enter this data into their document management and workflow systems, providing quality checks on the provider enrollment data, making sure that the provider's application information is correct and entered into the claims processing system correctly. So you'll manage inbound, outbound, online fax queues, from the different providers. So non-phone, just working those fax queues, you're gonna quality check all the claims processing enrollment data and creating those notification letters to be mailed out if you're missing information. You're supporting other enrollment functions like data entry, special mailings, things like that. So you're just researching and reviewing and processing these provider enrollment applications. Now they are looking for somebody who has a high school diploma or GED and one year of provider enrollment experience. They want somebody who has like six months, some kind of office clerical experience, basic computer skills, data entry, and somebody who is knowledgeable with like healthcare terminology, provider enrollment terminology, basic regulations, policies, and procedures. Now this one is going to provide the computer for you. You're gonna be responsible for having your own computer monitors and cables, but they are gonna give you the actual computer. Now, sadly, this one did not list pay. That'll need to be discussed with them at the time of the interview. Keeping on with the theme of data entry and providing you the computer, Optum is hiring. Now, Optum is a part of United Health Group, but the job I'm sharing was actually posted by Optum. Optum has 12,000 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.5 out of 5 stars. Why United Health Group has 17,000 reviews and an overall rating of 3.7 out of 5 stars. United Health Group and Optum, they are looking for a senior data entry specialist. This is remote nationwide for the United States. And United Health Group is going to provide you all the computer equipment you need to do the job. And they are going to provide you internet services also. So they're providing it all. Now, one thing to note about that, you have to live, they don't have any state restrictions, but you do have to live in an area where you can get their internet service. That is the only caveat. This is a full-time Monday through Friday position and they're looking for somebody to work between the business hours of 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. The hours of training will be 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. They are going to provide you with three weeks of paid training 
And they are just looking for somebody to read medical records and medical documents and then input that digital information for new and existing patients into the system, creating and update those medical profiles. You're going to enter data into the database in a timely manner, double checking it, making sure that the data entry is accurate by comparing it to the source document that you use to get the information that you entered. You're going to maintain confidentiality in all the medical records information that you input into the system. So you're going to have to follow HIPAA guidelines. Now they only require a high school diploma or GED and somebody who's 18 years or older. They want somebody who understands computer systems and how they work and how to navigate computer systems, how to use different software programs like Microsoft Office, Outlook, things like that. Now they prefer somebody who has one year of data entry experience, but that's not even required. Again, you do have to live in a location where you can get their internet connection and pay is going to be dependent on things like location and experience ranges anywhere from $16 an hour all the way up to $28.27 an hour. One thing I want to note about United Health Group and Optum, if you're interested in this job, go get that application in ASAP. Do not wait because they hire a lot of work from home jobs and they don't leave their applications up very long. I've seen them only leave them up for like 24 to 48 hours. They collect a lot of applicants, so they will start interviewing pretty quickly with this one. Another one hiring, if you're interested in just sorting through like medical documentation, indexing it, categorizing it, reviewing it, things like that, is CVS Health. Now, CVS Health probably needs no introduction. They have 43,000 reviews with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.2 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a correspondence coordinator. This is going to be remote for the United States. And so they are looking for somebody just to perform the clerical functions on their correspondence, which is incoming faxes, mails, things like that. Indexing, sorting, and assigning this incoming correspondence to up that is uploaded from the U.S. bank lockboxes and properly handling the protected health information. So you're really working with a high volume of correspondence regarding charges, denials, audit requests, and billing errors. You're going to review, distribute, post, and escalate this correspondence from multiple business lines into their computer system, just monitoring, reviewing, and escalating any correspondence trends or misrouted mails to your appropriate supervisor or lead or whatever. So when it talks about correspondence uploaded from U.S. bank lockboxes, a lot of healthcare companies, including the one that I work for, has lock boxes at banks that they deal with. So we are all working remotely. We don't deal with paper mail. So we have like PO boxes and, and bank lock boxes that this mail comes from. It generally comes from insurance companies. If you send a claim out to an insurance company and they're going to deny the claim, they send you a letter of why they're not accepting it, why they're denying it. If the provider's not enrolled, they send you a letter telling Telling you you have so many days to get the provider enrolled. All of those letters go to those bank lock boxes. Also, checks, if they're actually going to pay the claim, those checks go to the bank lock boxes and included with the check is going to be like a remittance advice. It's almost like your patient's explanation of benefits. It tells you what claims or what patients they're paying and for how much. And then these banks that you work with, they're normally big corporate banks like Bank of America or something like that. They take all of this incoming bank lock boxes. If there's any checks, they deposit it into the company's corporate account. And then they scan and then send us all of these paper mails. So when the check is deposited, we know how to cash post the payments on what patients they actually paid with that check. Or we get those letters so we know what to fix on claims. And so that is what is happening here. All of that scanned mail is then for CVS is then coming to you and you've got to look through it all and basically index it, sort it, and categorize it so it then flows through CVS's system going to the correct place so the next thing can happen. Of course, they only require a high school diploma or GD, and somebody who has worked with Windows-based computers and computer applications. So basically, you can use a computer and navigate through different software systems like Microsoft Office, email applications like Outlook, Word. So you just have to have great 
computer using skills be able to type and use a keyboard. Now they do prefer somebody who has knowledge of healthcare billing collections practices or one year of customer service experience. Pay for this position again is going to be dependent on things like location and experience but goes anywhere from $17 an hour all the way up to $28.45 an hour. Next up, we have Molina Healthcare Hiring. They have 2,500 reviews, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.5 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a remote associate specialist for their credentialing department. So this is going to be again with the providers. Providers again have to be enrolled with those insurance companies or different products and able to bill. And so providers have to be credentialed making sure that their licenses are up to date, that they are licensed to perform in the medical field, all of things like that. They keep their NPI or national provider numbers up to date. They keep their addresses current, things like that. So they have to re-enroll and be credentialed every so often. And so this job is just evaluating those applications for accuracy and completeness based on differences in provider specialty and just obtaining the required verifications that Molina requires per their policies. So you might need to see a copy of the doctors, nurses, whoever is submitting the application, their licenses, things like that. You will have to communicate with the healthcare providers from time to time for clarifying questions or request, requesting any mis missing information. So this is one where most of it's going to be dealing with the documentation and processing things through the computer system. But you may have to pick up the phone and make an outbound phone call and be like, hey, I'm missing this document. I need it. Can you send it to me? But you might also communicate with them through mail. You might have to send them a letter, just like we were talking about the lock boxes. Insurance companies in different places do send letters. You'll update the credentialing software system with all the required information, just making sure that all the re-credentialing applications are from the providers are followed up on. And you'll complete any data corrections in the credentialing database as needed. This only requires a high school diploma or GED, and they do want somebody who is experienced in a production or administrative role requiring self-direction and critical thinking. So they want somebody who basically can be self-motivated and can be a problem solver. Of course, you've got to know how to use a computer and have great communication skills. Pay for this one, again, ranges depending on things like location and experience, but starts at $13.41 an hour and goes all the way up to $29.06 an hour. Next up, we have the company Health Catalyst. Health Catalyst has 734 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 4.1 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a cardiovascular data abstraction specialist. One thing I want to note about data abstraction specialist is a lot of times this one does require a degree and require you to be like a nurse RN, something like that. I've had someone leave in the comments before that they were a nurse or a registered nurse and RN and they were looking to get out of the patient field with being in person with patients and they wanted to work from home. Something like this would be perfect for you so I thought I'd throw it in. Not sure if you still watch this channel. But if you are not a nurse, you can always leave down in the comments anything that you're looking for. I can never make any promises, but I do keep a running list of things I see people looking for. And if I ever come across them, I do share. But they are really looking for somebody to abstract or take out data from their cardiovascular data from their related systems. So this is going to be a lot of data entry, data quality review, and audits of the abstracted data. So basically you're reading a lot of medical records and doctor's dictations, and you are basically taking out information from that data, like the patient's diagnosis and things like that. So it does require a lot of healthcare knowledge and experience. You've gotta be familiar with different clinical applications. This is why it's good for like nurses and things like that because you've really had to previously worked in a healthcare setting in the clinical setting not in like the back office setting. This is also going to require great communication skills. Other than that, again, they do prefer somebody who's a licensed RN or LPN. It just says preferred, but they will take three or more years of cardiovascular clinical data abstraction over that. So you don't necessarily have to be a nurse or RN as long as you have been a data abstractor in like the clinical hospital type setting before. 
course, you have to have strong computer skills and somebody who is very detail-oriented and organized. Now, sadly, this one did not list pay. That'll need to be discussed with them at the time of the interview. All right, if you've made it to the end of this video, I owe you a huge thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me. If you enjoyed anything that I share, make sure you give this video a thumbs up like button and let me know. Sharing is always caring, so share with all your friends and family, and I'll be back really, really soon with more work from home job leads just for you.